Okay. Here we go. Cannot keep that better. I've drawn this, I think, half the games I've, I've drawn it when I've redrawn, which I'm not complaining about. It's a two drop. Hmm. I don't like you unless I'm playing you. I kind of feel like this game might already be over. This coming out as a 3-3 is just... It's going to be a nightmare for me to handle. And not so much the fact that I'm taking 3, but the fact that... Warcry is going to... It's just going to be a mess later on. Hmm... If I double block here, it's a blowout with any pump spell. We'll block this though. See, the double block here would have been a nightmare. The best thing I could draw right now is my 5-4 with Echo, but I, I don't think I'm going to be able to come back in this. There's something massive on top of his deck right now, or in his hand. Well, show me you have another pump spell. Let's attack for two. This isn't horrible, because you'll have to use a pump spell to kill it. Or a weapon or something. Yeah, that's really big. And he's, he has no reason to not still attack, because even if he doesn't kill this, he still gets his war cry triggers. Taken seven. Pretty sure this one's over. That start, this into this was just too much for what I had. And this this actually did some work too. He got two war cry triggers off this. It's pretty solid. Um, I wouldn't say it's the standard Dracano, but it's pretty freaking close. Yeah, that's a scoop. Good win, Dyron. That was very convincing. All right, our next loss, and we're out.
All right, what do we have here? Redraw. <laughs> I knew I'd be having this card again. I knew it'd be there. That's funny. Okay, so we have all two drops and three drops. We can hope our opponent's um, hand is slow. I'm gonna be trying to lead from this into this, unless he plays something that I have to uh, silence. Okay, so the soldier is actually a pretty good blocker for this, unless he has a pump spell, in which case, let him use it. That is not slow. I will say that is not slow. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to slow it down a little bit. Can't afford for him to be at that much mana that quickly, especially with this out. It's just something massive could be coming right now if I didn't do that. I'd rather him get a war cry trigger than allowing that to happen. So I played this instead of this. Next turn, I'll go this into this. And if this lives, I can, um, you know, play this the following turn. I just wanted to start getting some kind of damage in. Problem is that he's playing white green, so silence is a strong possibility, as you've seen. And there's also the enforcer. So there's a few, plus there's just white cards that silence things and green spells that silence things as well could be rebuke i might be able to raise a seven seven i might be able to raise a seven seven let's draw some cards attack for two It's pretty simple. I'm gonna offer a team block trade, definitely. Okay, uh, I was gonna do something else, but this card is gonna become a problem so quickly. I'd rather just get rid of it now. And I've kind of held back on this because I do plan to um, trade and bring it back. Not concerned about losing the weapon there. It's not a big deal. Again, I do plan for most of my offense to be in the air. Five four can block the three five profitably, so he doesn't really have a lot of good attacks right now. We got some options. Being at twenty seven helps a lot. I think we're gonna kill the three four. No, we're going to kill the 3-5. Put on another flyer. Yeah, that seems like the right thing. Because the 4-1 can block the 3-4. I have no problem doing that. And this way we up our clock in the air. We double our clock in the air, in fact. Um, okay, so that and that.
So with this early game pretty well dealt with, we're playing similar decks except my late game seems to be a little bit better so far. Silence in this early helped. Still got some stuff up pretty quick though. Um, nothing's changed offline. Put this out and pass the turn back. He still has no good attacks. Okay, so we hung in there. We are four and two. Let's jump right back in. with it this is not an ideal hand by any means but uh, my opponent doesn't have a ridiculous start and I draw that we could have a chance okay That is so good. I gotta say, now I don't want to play this. It just kind of dies. But I don't want to be um, taking the war cry triggers over and over again. So I'll offer it up. I'll offer it up on a silver platter here. Just to get rid of the weapon. I won't be blocking those. If you want to kill it, use your weapon. And the beauty of that card is Torch wouldn't kill it. He'd need two torches to kill it, so. Not off to a great start. I'm gonna go with this. I'll block. Oh wow, I just realized I don't even have enough. I played the I played the wrong power. That's so bad. That's so bad. I played the wrong power. Okay. I wouldn't have sacrificed this if I'd um, done it right last turn. So many triggers for Warcry have gone so far. And I can't silence that card, which sucks. Pass the turn. If he swings with it again, I'll team block. Got it. Okay, I can't kill that anyway, so I'll just block one of the tokens. Because I will be putting this out. He got... One, he got two Warcry triggers on that, which means he got some Warcry triggers on something else. I'll hold on to this.
Hopefully he doesn't have a removal for my 5-4 again. Okay. Let's just silence that and pass it back. If I draw a land, I can go with this into this. If you guys hear me saying stuff like land and similar similar things, it's because I play Magic a lot. And this game is, is a lot like that. Okay. We have no good attacks. This card just got better. I have no good blocks for it whatsoever. I'll have to try to race it or um, stun it would work. No blocks. I like that. Not a race I can currently win, of course, but... <coughs> If he just starts alpha striking. I mean, I'll take some damage, but I'll definitely... I'd definitely have some good blocks if he did that. I expect at least the four... Yep, at least that to come in. I'll block that. I mean, I just war cried two, so... Yeah, I was going to say, there's a good chance I, I got something out of that. Seven. Yeah, let's attack for nine. I think we'll just put it on this. 4-7 can still block the 5-3, or is 6-3 when it attacks. Depending on what, what's in his hand, this game might end up being pretty close. If I draw a weapon or a unit on my next turn, assuming I live, it'll be good. It would be really good. Because it would have gotten at least two, four war cry triggers. Opponents tanking a lot. I was gonna say that seems bad, but it actually does not seem bad at all. Um, no blocks. No blocks. All right, that's pretty good. It triggers itself. I don't think I could have asked for anything better. I think that wins the game. 4, 8, 10. Pump. Swing. 
Yeah, I think this is the best card I could have drawn. As a 5-5, five, five, brings this back, which doesn't matter in that case, and uh, draws me two cards, which drew me into what I needed after that. That was a good game. That was a close game. Very close game. Sure, I'll keep it. I kept I basically kept this last the last game and I'm on the play this time, so should be better on the play. Man, it does not seem better on the play at all. I'm willing to trade these, I think. Because I plan on playing this next turn. Kind of changed my mind, I think. <laughs> this this will get out of control. Plus I have this in hand I can use to deal with this later on. I'll block. Second one, okay. I'm going to be taking some damage here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I can afford to... deal with all that right now. I won the last game. This is what I might actually lose to. <laughs> Random red-white cards. No blocks. You are up, sir. So if he doesn't kill one of these, I will gladly team block the 3-4. Okay, all his cards are on the table. So I can make a better a better decision here. Yeah, like I said, that doesn't change. Because so I can take two fine for a little bit. So if he swings, I'll team block. And the flyers, the weapon can deal with the flyers. Not that flyer. Hmm. Okay. Yep, I have just enough to kill one more flyer. So put this out first. Because if I draw the mana, I might be willing to put this on this instead. I could gain five or I could gain what nine? For him to kill this six, seven, eight, nine, he need to block with all. I'd kill this. These would Yep. Let's attack with this. Just want that gone. I can race with the rest of them. 
I know some people disagree with that play, but currently it's not getting better for me. Right now I can attack into things. And the reason I'm swinging with this, it, it might just die to this attacking randomly. Oh, that's not good. That is a 5-4 most likely. Hopefully it's search for a land. Okay, gain life I can deal with as well. If it was the 5-4, that would have been pretty rough. Easy, easy block. And now we got a race. And nine's a lot more than one, so yeah, chump block. Just gonna tie for eight. Play out Warcry because if he doesn't play anything, I can attack this into this just to get the trigger. I'll still attack this in. No good blocks for this unless he has Wasp in hand. Same thing. I thought he'd be willing to take 8 at least once. Okay, there we go. That makes sense. He has a life for it, so why not? Until he draws an out, if he has one. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Nope. Be a good player. Draw the cards first, see what you can get. And that's why you draw the card first. <laughs> so now you can attack for 10. Pass it back. I think that's game. Nice. I think our deck handled that one pretty well. Okay, so final game. Whether we win or lose, it's the last one. One win, one loss left. Valkyries or Rulance elite forces, humans augmented for flight and prowess in battle. <laughs> His elite forces fly, but he doesn't. That's funny. Although he's won me a lot of games, endurance and invulnerable to damage is pretty strong. I don't know why, but this week the queues have been taking a lot longer. One minute in the queue is, is long. We are facing Betty Blue. Betty Blue's on the play. This is a keep. I'd rather if one of another one of these would have been a time sigil, but I have a two drop. If I draw time sigil, I have a three drop, so I definitely keep this. Blue, 
think that's the first blue we're facing so far. Okay, and we drew a time sigil. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't think we faced blue so far. I could be wrong, of course. <clears throat> All right, let's start the Warcry triggers. Looks like our opponent missed a mana drop there. Still a two. Oh, that's not good. I don't like losing like this. So I know I if they lose, I should say I know how they feel. They could still win. I've won from that position before as well. But it's not a good start. Alright, there we go. We got a game. We got a game. This is probably going to get through, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to win wide. We're going to be very aggressive. So if this gets unblockable or flying and, and gets through, we could very well still just win. Oh, this is pretty good. Let's give this killer. Swing for nine. Play this and get this back with killer. Now it is it's it can't it's exhausted. Yeah, that was um I got a good hand and our opponent got stuck on mana for a turn or two there, which went a long way. So that's the draft. I mean yesterday we went three and three and today we went seven and two, not bad. Let's see what our rewards are. Pack one. I'll just, I'll open the packs as well. I might as well. Three packs. good I've been looking for um, a couple more rain of frogs I have an idea for a deck with it so I'm okay with seeing that it's okay I will destroy that for some shift stone and another rare okay so uh, that was a draft I'll try to do another one tomorrow or in a few days but thanks for watching if you liked what you saw subscribe below and hit the like button